Hi everybody, I want to walk you through another practice problem. This is from side A of your worksheet. It is number 15, okay? The big takeaway that I want you to get from this video is that real numbers or integers, x's and y's interact with each other but not with the other types. So x's interact with x's, integers interact with integers, and y's interact with y's. But if there are no grouping symbols, no parentheses, anything like that, they don't interact with each other or with each other's exponents especially. So one really cool thing that comes out of that is when you've got a complicated problem like this that has x's, y's, and numbers all over the place, you can think of it as three separate problems. You can think of it as one problem where you're just concerned about the numbers. Is that something you can reduce? Do you know how to reduce 20 over 2? Sure. 10 over 1. You've got x to the 14th in a numerator. You have x cubed and x in a denominator. So at the very least, you could think of that like this, x to the 14th over x to the 4th. Do we know what that's going to reduce to? Well, that'll reduce to x to the 10th. It may be helpful to put an over 1 there, so you remember that 10 goes in the numerator. And then I have y to the 10th over y to the 6th. I know what that is. I know that that is y to the 4th in a numerator. When I put all those together, ten x to the tenth and y to the fourth, I can write that as one answer ten x to the tenth y to the fourth. In this problem it just so happens that all of the denominators cancel out. So think of them independently. Think of the real numbers, the integers. Think of the x's and think of the y's. All right, thanks for watching.